In this question, we want to draw shear force diagram and bending moment diagram using moment distribution method and we are given that E is constant and the moment of inertia is mentioned in the brackets next to the members. In this video, I will not describe all the steps in great detail but if you want to see that then please watch my previous video on drawing SFD and BMD using moment distribution method and there I describe all the steps in much more detail. The link for that video is given in the description of this video and also on the pop-up card above. So first step in solving a problem using moment distribution method is to find distribution factors for all the members connected at all the joints and here note that E is constant for all the members so we will use relative stiffness factor K equals to I by L that is moment of inertia divided by length to calculate distribution factors. So at joint A we have the fixed support and member AB and for fixed support the stiffness is infinite because it is rigid for rotation and for member AB the stiffness factor KAB will be moment of inertia is 2i divided by length is 5 so 2i by 5 now distribution factor at A for wall will be KA wall that is infinite divided by sum of all the stiffness factors at joint A that is infinite plus 2i by 5 and that will be equals to 1 then distribution factor at A for member AB will be DFAB and that will be in the same way 2i by 5 divided by infinite plus 2i by 5 and that will be 0 next at joint B we have three members connected member BA member BC and member BD so at joint B all the stiffness factors will be KBA that is 2i by 5 KBC will be i by 3 KBD will be i by 3 now distribution factor at B for member AB or BA will be distribution factor BA that is stiffness factor for member AB that is 2i by 5 divided by sum of all the stiffness factors at joint B that is 2i by 5 plus i by 3 plus i by 3 and that if I simplify this i will get cancelled in all the terms and that will give me 0 0.375 next the distribution factor for member BC at joint B will be DF BC and that will be I by 3 divided by 2I by 5 plus I by 3 plus I by 3 and that will be equals to 0 0.3125 similarly distribution factor for member BD at joint B will be distribution factor BD equals to I by 3 divided by 2I by 5 plus I by 3 plus I by 3 and that again will give me 0 0.3125 next I move to joint C at joint C I have member CB and a roller support so K C B will be I by 3 and K C at wall will be 0 because roller support does not provide any resistance to rotation so distribution factor at C for member C B will be I by 3 upon I by 3 plus 0 and that is equals to 1 and distribution factor at C for wall will be 0 upon I by 3 
plus 0 and that is equals to 0 and similarly at joint D we have two members member DB and a fixed support so at joint D K D B is I by 3 and K D wall is infinite so distribution factor at D for member DB will be DF DB and that is I by 3 upon I by 3 plus infinite that will be 0 and distribution factor at D for wall will be infinite upon I by 3 plus infinite and that is 1. Next step is to find fixed end moments for all the segments. So for segment AB, FEM AB because we have a point load it will be PAB squared upon L squared in anti-clockwise sense and anti-clockwise is negative so minus 10 into 2 into 3 squared upon 5 squared and that gives me minus 7.2 kilonewton meters FEM BA will be PA squared B upon L squared in clockwise because clockwise is positive so that will be 10 into 2 squared into 3 upon 5 squared and that will be plus 4.8 kilonewton meter next on member BC we have UDL of 2 kilonewton per meter so FEM BC will be on left hand it is WL squared by 12 in anti-clockwise sense so that will be negative 2 into 3 squared upon 12 so that is minus 1.5 kilonewton meter FEM CB will be WL squared by 12 in clockwise sense so that is plus 2 into 3 squared by 12 and that will be plus 1.5 kilonewton meter and on segment BD we do not have any load so FEM BD equals to FEM DB and there will be 0. So once we have calculated all the distribution factors and fixed end moments we can write these values in our moment distribution table. Here I have my moment distribution table. In the first row I have all the joints that is joint A, B, C and D. In next row I have all the members connected at each of the joints. So at joint A I only have AB so I have AB under A. At joint B I have three members BA, BC and BD. I have written them as BA, BD and BC. At joint C I have only one member that is CB and at joint D I have only one member that is DB. Now here at joint B we have three members connected so that makes our moment distribution table slightly tricky when there are two or less members at a joint say for example joint A it is easy to write the two ends of a segment next to each other for example here AB and BA are next to each other so when we do carry over we can carry moment from end a of member AB to end B of member BA and from end B of member AB to end A of member AB. However, when there are more than two members at a joint, then it becomes slightly tricky because it may no longer be possible to write both ends of a segment next to each other for all members. Here, for example, I have written the two ends of member BC next to each other but the two ends of member BD are not next to each other so when we do carry over we'll have to carry over moment from end B of member BD to end D of member BD and from end D of member BD to end B of member BD and this we have to be very careful so let's start our calculation 
So before I start my calculation, I draw a double line under distribution factors so that I don't add distribution factors by mistake in my moments to get n moments. And my first step will be distribution step. The net moment at joint A is minus 7.2. So the moment to be distributed at joint A is plus 7.2. But because distribution factor at A is 0, so the moment to be distributed at A is 0. The net moment at the joint B will be sum of these three moments, that is 3.3. So the moment to be distributed at B is minus 3.3 and that will be distributed according to these distribution factors and the values will be minus 1.24, minus 1.03 and minus 1.03. The net moment at C is 1.5. So the moment to be distributed at C is minus 1.5 and that will be distributed according to this distribution factor. So this will be minus 1.5. And the net moment at D is 0. And also note, distribution factor is also 0. So the moment to be distributed at D is 0. So next is my carryover step. And note here, from AB, I will carry over to BA. From BA to AB. From BD to DB. And from DB back to BD. From BC to CB and from CB to BC and the carryover factor is half so the carried over moments will be minus 0 0.6200 0, 0. note it is coming from half of this and half of this will come here so that is minus 0 0.515 then here it will come minus 0 0.75 and minus 0 0.515. This is my carryover step. Next is my distribution step. And I'll do same thing again. The net moment at A is minus 0 0.62. But because distribution factor at A is 0, so I'll get 0 straight away. Net moment at B is sum of these three moments. And that is minus 0 0.75 so the moment to be distributed at b is plus 0 0.75 according to the distribution factors and the distributed moments will be 0 0.28 0 0.23 0 0.23 the net moment at c is minus 0 0.515 so moment to be distributed will be plus 0 0.515 and the distribution factor is 1 so the distributed moment will be 0 0.515 and distribution factor at D is 0. So distributed moment will be 0. And next step is carryover step. From BD, I will go up to DB and DB to BD. From BC to CB and CB to BC with factor of half. So 0 0.14. 0, 0, note this will go down here. So 0 0.115, then here I'll get 0 0.26 and 0 0.115. And next step is distribution step, and the distributed moments will be, and I will stop here. The end moments will be sum of all the moments starting from fixed end moment and those values will be minus 7.68 3.74 minus 0 0.88 minus 2.87 0 and minus 0 0.4 so these are the end moments at the ends of all the segments now the remaining calculation to find n shears and shear force diagram, bending moment diagram and support reaction is same as the previous example. You can refer to my video on previous example whose link is there in the description of this video and also on the 
पॉपअप कार्ड अबाउ